Greetings to you. Thank you, God, for we have learned the first obligation of our day is to express with humility our gratitude. We discovered that you are God and you can not only influence our day, but you can alter the events and transform catastrophic challenges into comforts of calm. We really are grateful that you are both imminent and transcendent. You are imminent because you are always in our immediate presence, and yet you are transcendent, which allows you to not be limited by anything or anyone. Thank you for the fiat blessings that entered our space only because of your command. Your majestic voice will sometimes be as loud as the bombastic thunder, and then it can be a solemn, quiet melody of instructions that warn us that we are in a clear and present danger. So it's so special that we serve a God whose mind does not permit him to remember our past like so many of our friends. You constantly reside in our present moment to keep us inspired for a glorious hope and future. Your presence is always in our being, whether we accept it or not. The proof that you live in us is being verified each moment by the fact that we still interact with physical movement, mental memory, and messages, along with, yes, cognitive mess-ups. But your love is so massively incomprehensible, we all must conclude that our sins and folly have demonstrated that we fight against you from time to time, but you only respond to us by offering your favor after our fight. Please know that even in our periods of pain, you have fashioned a needed purpose so that we can ultimately enjoy a great pleasure from it. Wow, what a mighty God you are. As I leave you, my friends, please remember, every stumble is not a fall, and every fall is not a failure. There's always a future that follows all things. Have a great week, my friends.